Saturday night in Portland, Oregon. Anti-Wall Street protesters march ahead of a midnight deadline to leave two downtown parks. While some were packing up tents, many more defied the eviction order. By early Sunday, crowds had surged into the parks. At one point, thousands were there. Organizers hoped that the presence of that many people would make it impossible for police to push people out. Mayor Sam Adams had ordered the camp shut down. He cited unhealthy conditions and the encampment's attraction of drug users and thieves. Police had prepared for a clash, but so far only one report of a minor injury to an officer hit by a thrown object. Police eventually arrested about two dozen people. Violence marked the protest in San Francisco Saturday. Police say two demonstrators attacked two police officers in separate incidents during a march. So as the officers were moving into position, one of my officers was cut. Apparently one of the demonstrators had a sharp object on the end of one of their sign sticks and reached across and sliced his finger. Police did do a lot to try to force us off the streets. And maybe someone has something sharp on them, but that's just a conjecture. In Salt Lake City, police arrested 19 people Saturday. There, protesters refused to leave a park a day after a man was found dead inside his tent. Matt Friedman, The Associated Press.